smells like fish guts. Why? Because <laughs> I've been dealing with the stinky fish guts just now. Because we're gonna try and turn our fish guts into Dungeonese crab. And what I'm most excited about, because I've never done it before, is I also wanna try and turn it in to some shrimp, some spotted prawns, I believe they're called up here. I don't even really remember how to do this, but um, this is where my dad used to set the crab pot. So, even as I look at all these fish guts and carcasses and this really it kind of stinks and you know they're slimy but they still bring back great memories and we still want to honor our catch send anything that we're not gonna eat back into the ocean to provide nutrients for other life and also maybe catch us another dinner hi baby hi buddy learn to wave he said hi mama I heard him Okay, so this is our last crab pot. We This is our fourth one. And basically, just setting them all like about 50 yards, 45 yards apart. Literally in our front yard. I can see our cabin from here. All right, so we have all of our buoys lined up. We're really gonna hope that some, some crabs live there and they're gonna wind up in our pots tomorrow morning because we're going to leave them overnight but what i'm really 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 excited about is setting shrimp traps for the very first time and justin has done this before so you're going to walk me through this one honey and i really really hope we catch the prawns because they're so delicious and i just can't wait and i'm not going to get my hopes up too high what they really are so let's go do it look at what a beautiful day it is It just so happened that mama caught a halibut. And that is what we're gonna feed our shrimp beef friends. Is this gonna fit in there, Justin? Yeah. Oh my God. That's my halibut head. Tuck that baby in, I believe. Now you uh, put that in the front and on Oof. the loop. Thank you, man. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Ready? Action, go get him. Okay, I'm getting it. Come on, please, please, please. So just, okay, yeah, chuck pretty, it and then chuck it, yep. Beef. I hope it all works out, you know, with the tides and everything. It should, right? Down to the end of the line. Tie her up. I think we should be good. Please get me some food. Woo, I hope I see you again. This whole boat smells like guts. We're going to pick this up in, in two days. And I really, really, really hope that we get some prawns. We're here to check the crab pots and normally to check the crab pots you just pull them up and see if there's crab but I wanted to see if I can dive all the way down and just check out the environment see what it looks like maybe there'll be some crabs on the outside of the pot don't know what it's gonna be like how cold it's gonna be how dark it's gonna be down there if it's even possible to see but there's only one way to find out you get nervous yeah I get nervous Got to the bottom, there's crabs in our crab pot. Found this little one on the outside. I just grabbed it to show you, but she's a young female. So we're gonna send her on her way. Bye bye, crabby. Congratulations, it's a boy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Here's our crabs. The question is, are they male? Or female. You nice. Can you that's see? male. Yes. And that's female. The females, we gotta send them back down and say, "Go have more babies, Mama." Thank you, Mr. Male. Oh, we got a crab fight. Got our production boat over there with our wonderful editors, Lexi and Shane, and of course our, our little director who's watching my every move. How's it going, buddy? Hi, buddy. He's got food. He's stoked. Oh, yeah. Oh, I already see a 
big male. I think you're a keeper. Big daddy. You're definitely a keeper. Look at that. Yeah, we got dinner for tonight, but now we're gonna go do what I'm most excited about because I've never done it before. Our shrimp pot is still here. Those crab pots I was pulling up, I mean, they're in about 50 feet of water. This shrimp pot has 500 feet of line and two pots on it, not just one. It's been almost two days since we dropped these pots, day and a half, and 500, 500 feet of line we gotta pull. But we're doing it by hand, so it might take some time. Okay, Justin and I have been switching off and we have about 500 feet of line at my feet and I can see the shrimp pots. The door was open. Oh, the door came open? Yeah. Well, that could be why there's no shrimp. Because the front door was open. So they ate what they wanted and maybe left. Mm, I still don't see any shrimp in this one either. I see some shrimp! You got a starfish! <laughs> Yay! I don't care if it's not a lot. Yes! There's shrimp I in there! I wanted some shrimp. We caught some shrimp! And a little fish! Yes! Sweet! That's so cool! I was a little heartbroken because the first shrimp pot was empty, but then it turned out somehow that front door came unhinged, and so I think we'd have more if that didn't happen. But second crab pot with the big halibut head. We got shrimp. These are the Alaskan spotted prawns. See those white spots on them? And this is like the creme de la creme of shrimp. Oh, we got juiced on that first trap. Massive. For your birthday. Birthday shrimp. Birthday dinner. In our dreams, we thought it was just gonna be pouring out like on Forrest Gump. Congrats, can we chuck those in the cooler? Can you open it for me? I mean, chuck those in the Yeti. Okay, so I would say that shrimping was a major success for people who didn't really know what they were doing. I threw these shrimp in the freezer because I wanted to save them for today. <laughs> in taking them out, I realized that when you throw them in the freezer, their heads get a little dark and get a little black, but I know they're still fresh, quality ingredients, and they're still gonna be delicious, and I can still make them beautiful. So first, I'm gonna clean them. So this is our lovely shrimp. I'm just going to twist its head off. I am not going to throw away the head. I want to save that. In fact, I'm going to fry some up and we're going to eat the heads whole, Japanese style, like Ama Ebi style, eat the tails raw. And I'm also going to save some shrimp heads for my friend Micah, who we're going to take to her cabin in a little bit because she's going to use them to make a broth to make a paella. So I'm gonna now peel the shrimp. You can see this one has eggs. Even if you don't eat the, the shells that you peel off, there's still so much flavor in them that if you simmer it in water, you can just make the most delicious broth and you can use it for things like, not just soup, but things like risotto. But as for these succulent little tails, we're gonna eat them raw. And that red? What is the red? Just coming from the, the shrimp? Coming from the roe, coming from the eggs. Just to be able to get a bowl full of shrimp. So worth it. While I wait for the oil to heat up for the shrimp heads, I'm just gonna start trying to butterfly the raw shrimp. So I believe what you do is just cut directly along the back. This is my favorite. Uh, this is what I was most looking forward to. If there are people out there who think Eating raw shrimp is gross. Not when it's this shrimp, not when it's this fresh. Ama ebi means sweet shrimp. Aren't they just beautiful? Deep sea Alaskan prawns. And I'm just gonna dust the shrimp heads with flour. I love how shrimp just turn red as soon as they get cooked. 
And these ones are going to be crispy and yummy and might sound gross, but all the insides of them, that's the best part. You fry up the outside, they become this crunchy coating on the outside and the inside is just savory, delicious goodness. These look done to me. Look at that. I'm going to salt them while they're hot. And now let's move on to making sushi. <clears throat> I washed my hands and I kept my hands quite wet. I'm gonna put some salt on my hands just to flavor the rice. But also these wet salty hands, they're gonna hopefully prevent the rice from sticking. I just want to form this rice ball torpedo that's going to hold its own shape. Now I'm gonna just take a swipe of wasabi, not, I'm not gonna put that whole amount, but I'm gonna put a swipe on every rice ball. So I'm gonna spread this out. And now I'm going to place the succulent, beautiful shrimp right on top of the rice. Nice placement, Kimmy san Was it nice? And it's Kimmy chan I think what they do to make it stand up in sushi restaurants is they put a little bit of rice and just smash it on in there. Uh, that looks pretty expert, Kimmy. That does look pretty cool. Wow. So I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on the raw shrimp. I'm gonna then lift it, which is my style, from the rice, dip it in the soy sauce, put it back, and then eat it. Here we go. Mmm. Yum. Wow. Just so, so that nice nasal burn. But oh my goodness, the shrimp. It's like the texture is just so, so good. It's like, I can't even explain the texture of raw shrimp, but the sweetness is absolutely everything. Mmm. 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 Whew. The sweetness of the shrimp is my favorite part. That I'm hit with this total burn from the wasabi, but like the lemon really makes that sweetness just totally pop. Finish it with your fried shrimp head. So we're gonna give a nice squeeze of lemon right over that shrimp head. Give a nice dip of shoyu, and then we're gonna eat it. Mmm, just them. Try. Mm -hmm. How crunchy mm. and delicious. Well, it's been a while since we had that and wonderful it was all of that what's going on here <laughs> happy birthday lao check this out guys <laughs> prepared on my abby the fried head yeah. A fried head. Cheers. Cheers. Oh gosh, it. Happy yeah. birthday, La'a. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Mm. So sweet. So sweet, so huh? So succulent. Mm -hmm. Right? What do you think? Mind blown. What is up with this? What's your review on it, La'a? Straight hammer. I get, I, get, I get 10 hammers in this one. So Buddy woke up from his nap. So we're just going to clean our last couple of crabs to tell you the truth. I never, I never clean raw crab. My mom always taught me you cook them whole with everything in there because it's that much more flavor. But we'll try something new today. Sorry, mom, and we're gonna clean them raw. Buddy's practicing with his cutting board. He's gonna be a mom's sous chef soon. So this is a smaller Dungeness. And I guess what we do is we, we hold the claws we put this right on the corner and then we open it up. Wow. Okay, now see this? This is what my mom would get really mad at me for is wasting 
wasting all that crab miso, as she calls it. These are the gills I'm pulling off. That's one part we definitely don't need to eat. Oh, goodbye, mm. delicious goodness. I feel so wasteful. I feel like Buddy's judging me. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. That's a good flavor. Okay, Big Daddy's next. Yeah, Buddy, look. Size comparison. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the crab, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Sometimes when you fish or you set crab pots, you're just kind of wondering what it really looks like down there. But to actually go see for myself, that was exciting. Are oh, you doing a little dance, a little buddy dance? Okay, so we're gonna take some crab, all the shrimp heads, we're gonna take it to Micah, she's making a broth for the playa, and we will have dinner soon. Tonight, we're all getting together for a birthday dinner. So everyone is working on their own special dish, sourced straight from the woods and the sea. Am I doing it right? I think it's time to take it out. I think too. that's exactly what he said. I'm making paella. <laughs> There's a buzz that can be felt when we all appreciate the hard work dedicated to these treasures of ingredients. My dad started this lodge a long time ago and it feels so full circle to now realize what he really built. A place to come together and feel truly alive. And whether that's by appreciating the food we harvest and eat or the people we share these moments with, nothing quite nourishes that like the wild. Aloha! Thank you so much for following along on our Alaska adventures. We really hope that you've been enjoying them. And just want to say please, please subscribe because next week we have a very special video coming. It's actually a public service announcement regarding Hawaii's oceans. And this one's going to be something that's been very dear to my heart for a long time. And so we are excited to share that message with you. And then we're going to return to our Alaska series. So stay tuned, we got a lot more coming. Oh, yeah.